Okay, let's look at a game I played in 1984. This was a very embarrassing tournament. So as you all know, I went to Moscow in 1984 for a chess seminar, and I was 14. And in 1984, Americans didn't go to the Soviet Union because they didn't like each other. So some congressman or senator got me a visa, and getting there was tough. I had to take like three airplanes to get to Moscow. And because I went to Moscow, I got like a, a thing from the governor, a letter saying, you know, you're great. You went to Russia and represented the U.S. and that bullshit. And, and for Bonarici, that was Governor Blanchard. For everybody else, it was a governor you haven't heard of. And then the state Senate wrote a poc proclamation to me, whereas Ben Feingold is great. You know. So anyway, in 84 Michigan Open, which was a month and a half after the seminar, they surprised me and presented me with a proclamation at the tournament before the first round. And I was the highest rated player, even though I was 14. So the point of the story is I lost my first round, then I lost my second round. And I'm playing like 18, 1900s. And I was like 2300, I guess, maybe higher. Then I won my last five games, but they were all very suspicious. Like some of them I was lost against 14, 1500s, but I won the last five and got no money. Okay, so this is one of those games. This is one of the five games I won in that tournament. Blanchard was a Democrat. Go, old Jimmy Blanchard, Un unless I'm misremembering, but I'm guessing Bonarici's misremembering. That would be my guess. But one of us is. I guess you can look it up on the internet and then we'll find out. I wonder what that letter is. I might have the proclamation from the state Senate. Democrat. Have you ever been to the UK? One of my marriages took place in the UK. Or do you mean University of Kentucky? I've been to the UK a couple times. Okay, so let's look at my game. I played F4 because, you know, I already lost my first two games, so who cares? Then I played an opening that I like where you feed and cattle your bishop. I play this in Blitz a lot. Okay, so white's slightly better. It says bishop f6 is a mistake. Yeah, it says white's plus one now. Well, I mean, he had the two bishops. Now his bishop's no good and his pawns are doubled. So trading bishops was a bad idea. Okay, still says I'm up like 0.7. Knight g4 is not really a good move. I was just playing super aggressive. And the queen f7 is terrible. Yay, e4 is a good move. Plus 1.32. I've never analyzed this game with an engine. So I don't I don't know how, you know, if the moves were good. It says I'm plus 1.5 something. So I guess I'm playing okay. Knight e5, it says he should take it. So that move's not very good. It says takes, takes, knight f5, and white's up 0.8. But he played here. He trusted me. Knight g4, x-clan. I knew what I was doing. Rook f3 is the best move. Yeah, black doesn't really have any counterplay. Rook f7 is the best move. Wow, we played great. That's the best move. Queen h7 is the best move. I didn't realize how well we played in 84. This guy's like 18, 1900, the guy that I'm playing. Queen h5 is the best move. Wow. Okay, that's a blunder because I can play knight h6, and I did. Oh, I see why I played queen h5, because if he plays gh, I have rook g6. That's why I played queen h5, so my queen defends my rook, and this is unstoppable. So this is a blunder. He should play bishop e8, then he's just like regular lost. 
Yay, I played Knight H6. Don't make me angry. And this is just, you know, technique. Easily winning. D4, what kind of move is D4? What's that got to do with anything? Now it says made in three, and he played the best move. So F7 is made in three. I guess then if knight F7, I have queen F6 check. Otherwise I go here. Well, after F7, if he takes this way, there's several mate in twos, but this is the one that I like. Check, and then queen h5 mate pre-move. Oh, no, he could play here. Then I have to play this mate. Okay, so I played rook h6, threatening queen g7 mate, and my opponent blundered. But it says I'm plus six. He played knight f7, so I mated him. However, if I didn't mate him, like if he didn't see that, he should see rook takes and mate. I mean, he should see that. So he must have been in really bad time trouble because this was move 38. So knight f7 is a pretty big blunder when he's only minus six, which is you know, completely winning. And then I'm sort of ashamed that I didn't find f7. I was young. I should play tactically. But I, I guess I knew he wouldn't see queen g7 mate. I don't know how I knew it. Also, it's a funny line. If you play rook g8, then I have this mate. So like the moves that attack my queen, knight f7 and rook g8 just get mated. So he has to play like knight f5. And then lose in a normal fashion. Like a normal person. I played okay that game. I remember what he looks like. I know what the, I mean, he probably doesn't look like that now because it's, it's 39 years later. But I remember what he looked like when I played him. He had glasses. He was about five foot seven, brown hair. And I guess if I had a sketch artist, I could make his face, but I don't know how to describe it. I probably played him more than once. But I remember this game. I remember, like, things happening this way. Anyway, my name's Ben, and his name's Ben Ben. So I don't know how I won. How fast would you play if your opponent played instantly every move in a 90-minute game? I don't know. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? I don't know. 